Um, if you guys haven't seen the um, the Vifly, Vfly uh, Whoop Store yet, this is a pretty cool little charger. It runs off USB C, XT60, barrel jack. Uh, I think it's like 2 to 5S. Turn on. There we go. Uh, real cool charger. Has two distinguishing features about it. You can. You can storage charge, or you can full charge battery. So the storage charge is the new function, or it's the function of this that makes it st stands itself away from other chargers. Um, it is a little clunky. It's um, you know you got your high volt, low volt switch here, and then or high volt standard, and then you have charge and discharge. Um, I don't know why it thinks it's being booted off computer, but anyways, you can update firmware on it. There we go. You can change your charging current, and then boom, you can charge. You get a little LED, whatever. You can put in a storage, you can store charge. So this wasn't a bad charger. There's been mixed result or mixed quality concerns about it. It is kind of jank. The fact that it's all exposed is just a, a layer of PCB and acrylic and acrylic with a sticker on it and some holes chopped in it for the BT 2.0 and it does pH 2.0 on the side. Um, I don't like this layout at all, but hey, you know, it's the first of the first one to come out and you know, it works, it works. So, um, the other thing that I do not like about it, if I can get this apart, uh, let's see, oh, you can charge from USB, yeah, you can charge from USB-C as well. Uh, that's, that is why I, uh, that's why I went with this, and also the storage function is pretty nice. Um, I've been doing storage on my my full-size chargers for a while, but you gotta do kind of a hacky workaround to make the charger happy about dealing with 1S batteries. Um, I got a video on it. Um, you just search the channel. I would post the link, but a little busy right now, guys. Um, oh, let's see. Just got that charger too, Kearns JW. All right, man. Um, if you haven't gotten into it, I might, this might make you mad. All right, so here is one of the big issues with it is they did not use BT 2.0 connectors. They just took PH 2.0 and they just hacked the tops off of them. They work, it fits. Make sure I don't put this in backwards. Uh, but it's kind of janky and it's a little wiggly, kind of fiddly. I contacted uh, VFly. Actually, I kind of bitched about it a little bit, just lately on Instagram and VFly hit me up, uh, which I was surprised. And they're like, look, we didn't use BT 2.0 because it's too damn expensive because beta FPV, uh, and I'm just showing this pack as an example, owns the design to this connector. And they charge uh, not an insignificant amount for the stupid connector every time we use it. That's why we did what we did, but we've heard the community and we know you guys are not too happy about it. And I'm like, I think people would even be willing to pay a little bit more for having the proper connector. It just seems like, it seems like a half-assed product that they're already, ha that they're half, come on, man. That they're half-assing even more by cutting corners to save a couple bucks. And then they say they're passing the savings on to the consumer, which, you know, I can only take them at face value, but mm, companies usually don't do things to save a dollar to pass it on to uh, the consumer. They usually do it for themselves. Um, I would be surprised if the savings that they make by hacking these PH 2.0 connectors off um, is the same savings that you get when you purchase this charger. So let's go ahead and throw this back together. So anyways, I talked to them uh, a little bit. I was kind of concerned about um, you know, it, it is a bit of a safety thing. The connection is not the most secure. I've seen other people that complain that, you know, if they don't put the battery in just perfectly, uh, it'll break connection on them and then they won't get a full charge. So they said, hey, you know, we got a new charger. We'll send you out a new one. I'm like, oh, cool. So they got a V2. If you're on my community page, you notice I've asked quite a few questions about 1S batteries and, uh, 
that information is actually being watched by VFly or Vifly, whatever the hell you want to call them, to figure out their next steps. So they are talking about making another version of this charger um, that is connector specific. So one would be PH 2.0, another one would be BT 2.0. I don't know if they have plans for GMB 27. It's not a very widely adopted connector right now, but that's their plan and it's to make them cheaper for you. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. So anyways, they sent me a new one and this is what I got. I th big difference there, guys. We have actual BT 2.0 connectors. The real -y deal, real deal. Um, sorry if you guys are chatting it up. I'm not really paying attention yet. I'll get to you guys in a minute um, and still BT, uh, PH 2.0, so we have actual BT 2.0 connect, BT 2.0 connectors. And another thing, this is probably the biggest thing that I noticed, is they've changed the orientation of the connector. So the issue I had before is if you had a bunch of these 450s, you can't, you can't plug them into the charger next to each other. So you'd have to like put two beat and two 450s in, and then you'd have to put like, you know, like a 300 in between them. And even then it's a, she's a pretty, pretty tight fit. So let's get this guy out of here. Now we have the, like where the connectors are now rotated 90 degrees and you can plug in as many of these as you want. This one's a little chank, so don't look too much into that. So now you can actually fill your board up with 450s if this is what you're running. Plenty of space. It is a much better design. Um, there is a new firmware out for these as well. Uh, version 1.07 if you're on 1.03. Very, very easy to update the firmware on these guys. But the general construction is exactly the same. They just rotate the connectors and are actually using PH 2.0. What do you guys think over there in the chatty land? Actually, the construction is quite a bit different. Um, the heat sink is very different. And I'm sure they're running into the same issues of sourcing parts and like and the like, just like everybody else's. Um, I don't know what the price difference is. Uh, this one does seem to have like a monster old cap inside of there, whereas this one do not. So there you go. Uh, I would say if you just ordered this and you get one of these, maybe send it back. I don't know if they're actually listing this as a separate uh, SKU or if this is just a running change where if you order one of these, you're going to get something like this maybe. Uh, that I am unsure of. 